Daniel Bernoulli was a Dutch Swiss mathematician and was one of many prominent mathematicians in the Bernoulli family. His most important work considered the basic properties of fluid flow, pressure, density, and velocity, and he gave us the Bernoulli principle. More simply put, the Bernoulli principle states that there is an inverse relationship between the lateral wall pressure and velocity. As velocity increases, the pressure will decrease. When the pressure increases, the velocity decreases. The correlation between the lateral wall pressure and the velocity described by Bernoulli has therapeutic consequences. As lateral wall pressure decreases across the partially obstructed airway, less pressure becomes available for alveolar inflation further away from the narrowing. Because around 80% of the resistance to breathing occurs in the upper and large airway, the diseases that increase the resistance in the airway cause tremendous increases in the work of breathing. Patients who must breathe against high levels of resistance are prone to respiratory muscle fatigue and failure. Gas flow in the upper and large airway is predominantly turbulent. Turbulent flow is highly influenced by gas density. Heliox is a mixture of pure helium and oxygen in a gaseous form. It is the second lightest element with the atomic weight of 4. When combined with oxygen, helium reduces the density of the breathable mix. A 70-30 helium-oxygen mixture would be 2.3 times less dense than air, and an 80-20 mix is 3 times less dense. The Bernoulli principle provides the basis for the use of heliox to relieve upper airway obstruction. Heliox causes the lateral wall pressure to decrease to a lesser extent and produces less of a velocity increase across the partial obstruction. Essentially, less pressure energy is converted to kinetic energy when heliox is breathed, enabling more pressure to be available for lung inflation beyond the obstruction.